ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day seven. Seven days to die. It's horde day. Indeed it is. It's horde day. We are uh, in the need of iron, iron, and more iron. I don't know why I tried to put that bike down. It never seems to want to go down in this area here. I'm going out for more of these small boulders. We're getting them. We're getting them. I've got iron spikes being made. I'm hoping to get a row of those around the bottom. If we have to retreat to the top area, we will retreat to the top area. But I've got an idea for the bottom area as well that hopefully... Hopefully we can get on them right away and take care of them right away. I see Holly off in the distance. A little silhouette roaming across the field. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Day seven. Here we are. Oh. We should see what kind of uh, magazines we have, too. We could take one of those, and it would probably boost us a little bit here on day one, especially at night. And, and, we need to go over to the fire station. I still got stuff up in the, whatchamacallits there. In the chests up there, so we need to go up there and uh, see if there's anything of value for the Horde Knight tonight. Is what we've got to do. Uh, but right now, I need iron. I need to get it cooked up and going so I can make some more of these iron spikes. I don't think I have enough to go all the way around the place yet. Uh, so we definitely want to be able to do that. And while we're out here, of course, we'll do a little hunting if uh, if, if the need arises. Opportunity arises. The need is always there. I think Holly didn't see us. No, she's... Well, no, there she goes. Now she turned around. She can smell my delicious brain. <laughs> uh, so today, yeah, spikes. And just getting ready for Horde Night. Whatever we can upgrade, we're going to upgrade. And it's it's a it's a work day today. Today is a work day and we're close to home. I see Billy's joined the uh, club over here. We have Billy and Holly over here. That's good. It's two zombies. Let's stretch out our bow arm a little bit. Get it ready. Almost level 25, you guys. Right down there is 25 when we hit it. That means we're a mini bike. Mini bike bound, which is going to be a huge, uh, huge help. Huge help. Mini bike's great. It's a little bit faster than the bike, and we don't use our stamina. Let's, uh, let's get Billy's attention. Oh, nice. First shot, first hit. Holly? Oh, I missed her. She's like going downhill. Got her. There we go. I think she fell down, too, poor thing. Bam! Thanks for the support in the series, guys. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy playing Seven Days to Die. If you hadn't, if you couldn't tell, it's just so much fun. Give me them arrows back, Billy. I want them arrows back. I'm gonna need them for Holly. She's coming in hot. <laughs> you poor, poor thing, you. You poor, poor thing. Poor Holly. God, man. What a, what a jip. What a jip. I don't know. Would, would, would you want to be living right now? If this was, if this is how the world really was, think about that. Is this any way to live? I think I would want something to just blow my brains out. I don't think I would even want to live right now. Oh, I see Lucy coming in too. This would be, this would be a very difficult world to be in, most definitely. I see Lucy off in the distance. She's going behind that big, that low-hanging pine tree right there. We might have to chop that thing down. Although I don't think I want to do too much of the tree chopping today. I'm not in this for the wood. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. So let's see. We're good to go. Let's go to our intellect and grease monkey. And we are going to craft mini bikes now, which is fantastic. Physician is a thing. But again, we want to find that desert. So if we... The day after this... I want to get a mini bike put together, and I want to go check the desert. I want to go see if we can find one. We've got to have a desert somewhere around here. Somewhere. I would hope. If not, then we're just going to be digging rock and crushing rock with a cement mixer. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be... Uh, I'd rather use the stone for something else, to be honest with you, than turning it into sand. I'd rather go out and just get a bunch of sand and then go back home. That would be ideal. Uh, there's our next node right over there. Yeah, we've got a bunch of these guys still around here. I tell you what, I'm going to do this for a while. <laughs> I'm busting up rock for a while. I've got uh, flagstone blocks being made in my inventory, flagstone poles, and um, iron spike traps. So one of the idea is to mo get as much iron as I can out of these guys right here, take it back, melt it down, turn that into spikes, and we'll see where we stand with uh, our spike spikes around the place. Right now, 164 iron. Not Fantastic. Not fantastic. All right, I'll be right back. 
just leveled up again. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a point in uh, this sort of thing right here. The sexual Tyrannosaurus would be great to get to the next level because then my stamina would just be so much better off. Because right now digging, it, it does wear down. I noticed on my group play, having everything on three, it's just like, it's a snap. So, I mean, it won't be much longer like this where I've got to take a break, you know, and stop and look around and stuff like that. I should be getting the farm put together right now, but I'm kind of wanting to get this taken care of first. This is going to be like the outer edge of the moat all the way around, you know, in between here is going to get dug out and that'll be the area that they would drop off. Uh, in two. So this is this is very similar to the design we've got going on the group play right now. Uh, Gypsy gets to build all the top part though. She gets to build all the decorative stuff and, and that sort of thing. It's kind of how that's always worked. So um, I'll do it on this one, and it'll be fun. And we'll have two different kinds of kinds of looks going on. Uh, I've got a kill chamber idea for this one too. So we'll probably do it on the other one as well, or at least give it a try and see. Maybe I should be the guinea pig. Although we've got, uh, we're, we're for, but much further along in the group play than we are, of course, in the single player. Because this takes a bit of time to do. Huh. Uh, alone, it, it, it's, it's, it's a chore. But it's not undoable. And that's kind of what I'm trying to prove, I guess, to myself. Is that I can, despite the fact I'm alone and doing this by myself, I can succeed at this I died but you know what we're gonna die again it's just inevitable they're just they're gonna get harder and harder is what they're gonna do these, these zombies here now I've got the uh, iron spikes being made and I'm gonna put those on top of this stone block right here and that's gonna be our new border I'm not sure that I want to upgrade these other spikes to the iron ones I probably should I don't know if I'm gonna have enough iron though to be quite honest with you guys I have no idea I'm kind of kind of curious to see how this is gonna go uh, so I've got a point, and I think what I want to spend this point in... I've got two points. Oh, really? Sexual Tyrannosaurus. I could get this on three. It's going to reduce my melee damage as well. Because uh, I've got this on three. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy one of these. And then I want to buy something for tonight. And I think I want to go with archery. Oh, boom headshot would be good too. Uh, what, what is what is up with boom headshot? Do I have to wait till? Perception level three. Oh, man, I probably should do that. But I think I'm going to put the point archery just so I can pull back faster. That's what I think. I'm going to do that right there. Uh, so I've got the iron cooking up. It's um, Right now it's making some forged iron. I'm also making iron arrowheads. I'm down to, like, nothing for arrows right now. So I've got to use up some of my iron for the iron arrowheads as well. Uh, so we've got those for tonight. So I'd like to have at least a couple hundred. 250 iron arrows for tonight would be fantastic. I think that would cover us pretty good. I got the AK-47. We've got some 7.62 rounds. Not a ton. We got some shotgun rounds. We got some 9mm rounds. So we got that. I've got the Molotov cocktails, but I'm having a hard time throwing them again. Uh, there for a while they were working pretty good, and now I feel like they are not again. Because when I try to throw one straight out from me, it just won't... He won't let it go sometimes. And it's a little frustrating. <laughs> it's like, hey, let go of that, dang it. I got something I got to show you inside the base, too. I think I've got to go all the way down that side still, too, though. This is a little bit too time-consuming, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. We're going to be able to fight them from down below and above. we got to retreat back up the, uh, the main uh, ladder up, we'll be able to do that and then fight from above. But if we're having to do that, that means they got in to the perimeter and they are definitely uh, <coughs> working on getting through the door downstairs. I guess I could block it off, but I'd rather just upgrade it. But I don't think I have the steel in order to upgrade that door and make it something that it's not. Uh, but I could upgrade it a few more times, I think. Matter of fact, we'll try that before we uh, head back up. I think I've got something on me that I can do that with so these are gonna go down here like so like they are and then I want to put I have 69 of these okay that's that's pretty good that's a good start that's a good start and then I want to take these guys and spin them around you can see they sit a, they sit a little bit higher than those other guys there a little bit higher 
but they look pretty smooth sitting up on this right here. I like how that looks. It will always have a row like that around at least this piece of the base because this is like the, the stronghold right here to be able to, to get into here. So that's the stronghold. So that's the idea there. So I'm going to keep going around here. Uh, I've killed a few more zombies while I was out digging up stone and stuff, but uh, nothing close to base as of yet. So I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get a little bit further along, and we'll see what's uh, what's going on. I've just about got us surrounded with the iron spikes. Just about. I'm coming back now with these guys here. I'm, I know I'm going to wind up removing them sooner or later, but for tonight, I would love to have that guy right there. Uh, that's going to be all spiked. This will be iron spiked up too. We only need a handful more along here. So I've got more forged iron going up there. So that's going to be good. I fixed all the tools up. So we're looking good there. I'm just checking to see if I miss... I, I thought I was missing a few of these wooden spikes. I thought I was. I'm going to put some right here too. Because I've been digging underneath here. And I just know they're going to cause a problem underneath here. So let's let's just do that right there. I've been digging right there. Um, I want to build a room underneath this base right here, this part right here, and it's going to be part of that right there. Uh, we need to go back upstairs real quick. Uh, yep. Up we go. I usually like to have my forge off on day seven, so that there's no chance of a witch or something like that, so I don't have like too many zombies showing up, but that's not going to happen today. Okay, so I've got 150 of those. I'm going to need more of those, um, like 100 more. Iron arrowheads. There we go. Craft that up, and then forged iron. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, so we've got that going right there. I was looking for the nail gun, I believe. Yes, the nail gun. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got some concrete up here too, right? 65. Well, we've got some, as I said. Some. <laughs> Not much. No, sir. Uh, we're going all the way down. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is initially I think we're going to start the fight down here. And like I said, if they get past us, then we're going to want to... Uh, uh, no, I want to copy rotation. Oh, no, 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 no. R. Copy rotation. There we go. I want to be able to do this here. You guys have seen this before, I'm sure. The bar method here, where we put some bars up and then they can't come through here. Right there. There's a drop. You always gotta wonder what's it gonna be. Thank you. Well, it's way the heck out there too, it looks like. Oh, I'm in the way. Like that. Is that good enough or should I go up one more? Let's go one more. Because they like to get on each other's shoulders. If they start piling up, we could have some trouble here. Like that, right there. Got 23 left. Okay, so we gotta rotate this. Oh, there we go. Just like, did I do that down here? I didn't do that down here. I did that up here. Dang it, Jim. Oh no 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 no. That's this is all wrong. Dang it. That's supposed to be on the bottom, the top of the bottom block, not way up there. And then we're going to upgrade these to cobble. Dang it. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to work on this now. We're going to do what I just did on that wall all the way around and then upgrade that stuff too. I guess I could break this one out and have most of them fall when I get the other one out. Did I put the other one in? I can't remember now if I put that one in over there or not. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we did that. We wasted that. And we want this to actually be... Right there. Like that. That way they can't come in the... They're one block high, a dog can get through that. I don't think a dog can get through this right here. And then we need one right there too. Like so. So there and there. Man, flagstone poles. Okay, so stop the cobble. <laughs> flagstone poles. I'm like feeling a little bit rushed. It's okay. Let's make 50 of those because we're probably going to have to replace some anyways. Or 
Probably a lot of them. So we're going to do that. And then the idea is, oh, here, let's go R. Uh, copy rotation, just like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to go like this. And get these guys beefed up a little bit more. I would love them all to be concrete. That's not the case. Nor is it going to be the case. We've got some concrete, but I think if they see one side is concrete and one side is not concrete, they're just going to go to the side that's not concrete to begin with, right? I think that's kind of how they, they look at it. But I'm hoping we can handle them here by keeping them just on the other side of that iron, those iron spikes. If I could do a second row of iron spikes out there, I would be really happy. Oops. Dang it. I actually want that. Here, here, here. Out. That's where I want that stuff right there. We've got all these guys right here. One of them's concrete. Okay, whatever. There we go. Almost did the same mistake. Uh, land claim blocks. That was kind of a, a an interesting thing to, you know, to think about. Is do we really need a land claim land claim block as a single player? The, I guess the really the only reason I would need one is so that I can pick up my stuff. Uh, that's when you need one. Uh. There it is, right there. That's the only time I need it, right? Really, I don't think I'll have zombies spawning on here, uh, on the base. Uh, I'm not using an old POI like I did uh, the last kind of full season that I actually had. Uh, so the zombies really shouldn't be um, spawning in this area, if that's indeed how they work. Oops. Put a nail in that one. So we should probably have a hammer and cobble in our inventory so we can repair these as we go because I think this makes them a thousand, correct? 1500, okay 1500, oh that's good, I like that. Uh, let's do this bit here too, there we go. They may want to dig through that first block but we don't want them getting through this second one for sure. And then, yeah, day eight, there's all kinds of things I want to do, but really the very first thing we're going to have to do is repair the base. But we should be able to do that just after the horde stops. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And I can't jump through there. <clears throat> I wonder if that's high enough. God, part of me wonders if that's even high enough. Because if they're standing here and they pile up too high and they get up one more, man, they're gonna be in here. So let's go. <laughs> let's do. Let's do another 40 more. I'll be back. I'm gonna put up one more row around here. And that takes care of that. That's it. One row. One row of spikes all the way around. What I should do is probably punch out the grass. I would really love to have a second row. I don't know that I'm going to have enough forged iron to uh, beef up the inside spikes. If I do, uh, great. Uh, what I probably should hold on to it for, though, is for making repairs is the forged iron. Is Once we need it, we're, you know, I don't want to use it all up. I want to have some left over for after Horde Night. I've got a misplaced one here, but, you know, that's okay. It's just one more there, so that's okay. Let's get a little bit of this grass moved. I want to go get the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the airdrop that just came down. You never know what's in there, right? I mean, normally it's food, but food's okay with me. I need it. I'm still, you know, we're, we got to get that farm up and running this next seven days, too. This next seven days is a lot. A lot to get done, a lot to do. And after this next seven days, we should be set up pretty good here to where we've got our defenses in place, our good defenses in place, and we have um, uh, just our living quarters in general are all put together, and then we can really kind of focus on getting this, this guy here going a lot better. I could probably only get one more corn plant out of that thing right there, but I thought we'd go off of the airdrop. It was right over there. 
I can never place this. Some days it just goes right down, and other days it, it just doesn't want to do it. I, I just... Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. All right. Let's get the drop. I feel like it's extremely important to us uh, this early on. We should have it. Take the mountain bike. We'll see what else we find along the way. I don't really want to stop too much because there is still a lot of work that needs to be done back at the base. I need to find out of what kind of ammunition we have. Uh, I've just looked at it a little bit. We don't have much in terms of shotgun shells. Uh, we've got a little bit of everything. Let's put it that way. I think we talked about it at the very beginning. I don't know because I'm cutting in and out of this thing today. Having to pause and all that good stuff. But we're staying on track, I believe. Uh, by the way, the workbench is also available to us right now. I could have spent that point there. I am going to try to kill these guys, a few of them, uh, just to get the points. Because we're almost... If I get one more point, I can get a workbench going. And I would love to have a workbench. That way, some of this stuff that's being made in my inventory can be made in that thing. And I can just walk away from it and let it do its thing. Uh, it's always good to have probably a couple of workbenches, actually. So that'll be the goal, to have two or three of them, so we've got that all that stuff going on for us. Um, looks like we're still a little ways away from it. Not too bad. He's sure to drop it a long ways from us, though. What a guy. There's Mary up ahead. Whoa. Well, that's Lucy. Oh, Mary and Lucy are out here. I was trying to figure out what that noise was behind me, and it's Lucy. Oh my god, you scared me, Lucy. Were you up on that rock? I think she was up on that rock. <laughs> she just kind of jumped off of it. I didn't even notice her. Either that or she was stuck on it. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh-oh, I just ran over some trash. Does it leave a bag when you do that? I don't think it does. Oh, uh, good tip, too, to dig around the gravel around the base to see what we have there. Oh, baby. There's a marksman rifle in here. Nice. And how many 7.62s? Only nine of them. That's okay, though. Nine is better than what we had. I'll take nine. I'm happy about that. That's beautiful. Um, I've dug around the gravel patches around the base, and I did find an iron one, uh, a couple, a couple spots where it said there was iron underground. Oh, that's a wolf. That's a dire wolf. Hopefully he gets interested in Pete here. Holy crap. That's a big dog. It's a really big dog. Oh, jeez. Ride. Ride like the wind. Maybe he didn't see us. <gasps> Don't stop on a hill, you fool. Go, 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 go. Dire Wolf coming after you. You think he gave up? Oh, good luck knowing where he is, right? I see Pete back there. He could be down this ditch right here. I don't see him. That's a big dog. I feel like I need him. I feel like I need to kill him. I feel like it's a stupid thing to do on day 7 at the same time, but I think he's probably got quite a bit of meat on him. I 
don't see him anywhere now. Yeah, where'd he go? Is it possible he despawned just really fast? Because there's Pete. Seems like we left him right around here. I guess maybe we lost him. Oh, or he's going to come back and haunt me someday down the road here. <laughs> he will be the death of me is what's going to be. Oh my god. Get off of the rock. Of all the places to come off my bike. It's right where we've lost a dire wolf. <laughs> yep. That's how I play. Poorly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so we lost a dire wolf. That's all right. Wow, he was big. He really caught me off guard. Next time we see one, we'll be eating him. We'll be eating it. <laughs> Tough talk. It's big tough talk with radio. Uh, you don't see them very often. At least I don't. Dire wolves. That's the first one I've seen in quite a long time. Alright, we're back. We didn't get eaten, which is good. We did pick up a marksman rifle and some food, so that is a good thing. Barbed wire, I don't think the barbed wire is going to happen. I, I don't think it is. We're going to be able to fight from up here, so let's get that off our hot bar. Um, where are our frames? Right there. All I'm going to do up here is add this here, like so. And then I want to be able to step out a little bit if I need to, to um, shoot at... Uh, Zombies that are up underneath here. So I think that's that's what I was missing the last time we did this. Was this guy right here. Just a little something you could walk out on. Most of that's going to come down when we get started for Horde Night. Uh, we do need to remove this ladder. I think we can just... Yeah. Just chop it down as we go down. go and one more perfect just like that and then we're gonna make sure we don't back into those guys and we're gonna put one here and here this should give us access to all of our corners I may even you know what we'll probably upgrade these just so there's no chance of me accidentally picking one up uh, during the night I've had that happen before where you don't um, upgrade these guys and then they uh, wind up in your hand <laughs> and you're not standing on them anymore and now all of a sudden you're falling I put a ladder over here oh that's right I guess this was our original way up one of the original ways up there we go Thir it's almost 4pm 6 hours until horde night 6 hours that's it ladies and gentlemen 6 hours to go and I will be bringing it in this video All our word night stuff is set aside and ready to go. I've got that set, taken care of too. We've got these bars right here. Oh. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. I think we're ready. There we are. Awesome. How did I get... We got our bars. Yeah, we're good. Oh. There we go. Perfect. It's all coming together. So where's that ladder at? We missed one of these sides because of a ladder. There it is right there. Perfect. Let's get this guy out of here. Yep. 
And then let's hit control. This doesn't make you stop you from falling, but it is a little easier to aim, I find, to be in control. Uh, let's get rid of this ladder, too. There we go. And let's get our little jutted out spot right here. No, 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 no. That's not right. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so tricky. There we go. And I don't know that I can actually get one from here. I'd rather not do that. Uh, one will be enough right there. <laughs> one will be enough right there. I can get in here and, you know, if they're down underneath here, we can we can get to them. They'll be coming in and out just like crazy. So, okay, let's do that. And then uh, let's check on the iron, see how that's doing. Oh! This is weird. What's going on with this, man? I ain't got time for this ladder stuff. Ladders. Ugh. Never been a fan of ladders. Let's go like that. Forged iron. Another 89 of them coming in. That means we can repair those spikes or make more. I'm not quite sure what I want to do in regards to that. Let's drop our food off. Oh, we got some nice rations out of that thing. I didn't realize we got quite so much food, but that is a lot of food that we picked up there. Very cool. We're going to need... I'm going to take half of those. Uh, what else am I taking? Oh, we wanted to get some water fired up. Oh, you know what? I had red tea. I was doing some red tea. Oh, I just need to turn it back on. It's already getting ready to do it. go just like that red tea is going drop off the fiber drop off the cobblestone has been made so far 682 huh how many more do I have going uh, over 1300 of those okay so horde night is just a little ways away how much forged iron do I have for door upgrading not a whole lot not a whole lot let's do I have the hammer with me? I don't. Let's grab the hammer. We'll just use that. And let's go ahead and put this in here, like so. And if I say wear these, let's see what happens. Do I get overheated in the jeans? Let's see. We still have to run over to the fire station real fast, too, and see if... Um, If we've got some stuff over there, some armor. I think I may have left it also over by the barn. Which is kind of a bummer. Okay, so this door. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I need steel in order to do it. So that door is as far along as it can go. Let's do the same with this guy here. Nice. Okay, that's all taken care of. And then up here, I believe we need uh, scrap metal for this guy right here. Get all these hatches kind of fixed up. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then the next level after that is the, uh, like the bolt door. So that's cool. Uh... I've got that right there. I've got that right there. Let's just grab a few of those off of there. God, I've got a lot of iron left. I could make another row of spikes. I just don't feel like I want to spend it on there. I feel like the horde is not going to be too bad. We're going to be okay. and We're going to make it through just fine. And, you know, we've got a little bit of backup material to, to fix things up. Cobblestone, of course. We want this stuff to go and just keep on going. I'm going to grab that and that and that. All that stuff. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see what we have in the storage crates over at the uh, fire station. Oh, I went too far down. That is uh, this double jump thing. Kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I understand why we have it because the zombies can jump like that. But wow, it seems like a distance to jump. We could have zombies back in here again. They do respawn after a while if you didn't know that. 
This is where they spawn locations. So for a little while they're gone and then they come back. Those jennies are going to be nice to wrench down. I wonder if you could steal out of those guys. Probably. Uh, I'm going to try to get a, a, a point in salvage operation. That would be another good point to put in. Yeah, there's two points I really want to get in. I'm thirsty. We may have something right over here to drink. Uh, that stuff can stay. Let's take the gas with us. I've got a puffer coat over there. i got a duster over there, too. We've got two landmines. I could put one right there at the base of the thing, just in case. Um, these are for perception. Get my looter ones on right now, I believe. Wrench. Yeah, I'd, uh, we'll take the battery with us. We're going to need the battery. We'll take the wrench. What do we got here? Dead eye. Explosive. Oh, dead eye would be good to have. Deep cuts. No. What else do we have here for these guys? Yeah, science. Daring adventurer. Intellect. Huh? Okay. This one would work though. Dead eye. That could that could boost our dead eye. That would be kind of nice to have. And what was this one again? Deep cuts and explosive weapons. Okay, so we've got some nice schematics there. We just have to work on the science perks, and I just don't feel like we're at the science perks yet. Where I, I need them just yet. I never did pick the potatoes in the backyard of that. Uh, the house right there. We'll get to him. We'll get to him. Obviously, I'm not as good at this game as most people are, so some of the stuff I just don't get done because I start to... Uh, I worry. <laughs> Time is coming. It's coming. And I've only got one row of iron spikes. I would love to have three rows of iron spikes. They would never get through. But that's not what I have. I have one, so I'm going to have to do my best to keep them out. And we'll start off by fighting downstairs, I think. And then if we have to, again, like I said, if we can come upstairs here and we've at least got these doors. This wall is not uh, shored up or anything like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, I could start up here tonight and fight up here. Do I have my Molotovs on me? I do. I want to try one of these and see if I can throw it. Because I could not throw it the other day. Okay, that time it went. Maybe it was just lag and it was looking weird. Because I would load it up like that and throw it and it didn't seem to have any impact. It, it wouldn't leave my hand. So I'm going to try. Maybe it's a multiplayer thing. I don't know. I don't know. We could make some more of those. Uh, we need the oil. Uh, we need gas too. I don't think I have any gas. I just walked away from gas. Dang it. All right, I'm going to step aside again, work on a few things, get stuff going, and then we'll be back, and it'll probably be Horde Night. So I feel like the base itself is pretty much ready to go. I think we're ready uh, for Horde Night number one. We'll give it a shot, see what happens, and, you know, we'll, we'll give it a whirl. I'll be right back. Just a little bit of time left here. Just adding a few more last-minute kind of things around the base to see if maybe it's going to deter them from wanting to be right up against it so I'm putting these guys right along this edge anybody who gets to these stone bars first is uh, gonna be feeling some pain and they can stay here because uh, we're building the moat in between this concrete post and the next one That should actually help out quite a bit. I'm pretty happy now that I thought about doing that, so that's good to go. We've got these guys going all the way up. I've got uh, one mistake placed, uh, but I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I've got all my guns. Got all my guns. Got my food, my water. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and top off the food. Let's go see what we need for food. Uh, I think I should have it in here now. Food. Let's go ahead and use one. Where's that? What do we have at? We're 124. Okay, that's gonna fill us up. And then let's go ahead and use a bottle of water. Okay, and that's gonna top us off there as well. Shift, click. Beautiful. I made us a hammer. We are all ready to go with the uh, um, what you call it? The the workbench. We've got all everything we need for a workbench is sitting right, pretty much down here. So we're ready to go. 
In fact, I only need 20 of these guys right here to do that. And then I need the forged iron, and I think a little bit of wood. And I've got the wood as well. Uh, matter of fact, it's right here. So let's go ahead and take this and put this right here. And that should be what we need for a workbench. And we'll be able to build that right after the Horde Knight because uh, we should level up at least once. Yeah, forged iron. So we're good to go with the wood 50. All right, beautiful. So we're good to go with the, with the workbench. That's going to be nice to have because then we can keep a bunch of stuff in there. Just again, like I said, walk away from it and not worry about it. Uh, upgraded these guys. This is ready to go. I think, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to start off up here and Molotov down on them. And then if we find that they get to the wall and they're getting really up here, th these bars are more or less to keep them from getting to our main structure. If they want to come up and hit on these things, that's fine. But um, we're going to try to keep them away as best we can. If we have to go downstairs and do some of that, we will. <laughs> but it's going to start here any second now. Oh, man, I don't care how many times I go through Horde Night 7 on my own. It's just like, it freaks me out. Now, I know that by day 14, we'll have better stuff. Day 21, of course, we'll have much better stuff. And it'd be kind of, cu I'd be curious to see when we get really strong and have uh, lots of uh, blade traps and things like that. If, if it doesn't just, um, my goal would be to sit back, relax, and just watch the Horde Night happen. And I don't have to lift a finger to do anything to it. I think that would be amazing. I wouldn't get any XP off of it, granted. But it sure would be fun to watch the machine work and put all the zombies down. Uh, any bags that drop, we're probably screwed unless they get in far enough to where I can reach them. Because I am not going out there. Unless, of course, the horde's over and uh, we're good to go. We've got three minutes. I've got the gamma turned way up. I could turn my hat on too. We'll probably do a little bit of both. And let's see what happens. Here we go. I'll turn my light on. So super bright, so you guys can see really well. Here we go. Where will the horde come from? Here they are, right over here. Looks so like we got them on two sides of us here. The spider zombies, huh? I'm a little surprised to see them. Look at Stan out here. Let's go ahead and use our bullets. Looks like they're in downstairs here. Up close and personal, let's see. Can I throw a Molotov? I'm gonna try a Molotov through here. Level up. Reload, you fool. Pete, get off of there. Let's soften them up with a little bit of Molotov. Oh, they're through that hole. Thirsty. I did drink. Let's get up top. Wow, they got through that quick. Oh, I went too far. Let's do the little AK. We could stand, just walk right through here. 
Oh, he's through. One more Molotov. It's a bummer, I can't see them over here. Okay, Stan is dead. Dogs. Sorry, I'm quiet. Wow, they're coming from all sides, too. I think that's really crazy. I would not have guessed that happening. Okay, so the corners are the weak spots. That's where they've gotten through both times now. Okay, they're over here. i got to be able to get through here. Hold on, let's go over here. Level up! bag down there. I see it. Reload, 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 reload. I think we might have made it. <laughs> I think we made it. Oh, look at that. Where I angled those bars in the corners, that's where they picked to come through. That's really interesting to me. They really did pick on the corners. Have we got anybody else down here roaming around? I think we got them all, actually. It's uh, almost... Well, it's only been an hour. So is is that's that's the end of it then, right? Is that dog dead? Let's see. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. Okay, let's go on down there and see what we got. We'll make sure the pistol's loaded. That was kind of weird. Where's that bag at? Iron pick and a honey. Uh, we got one more out there. I'm not really prepared to go out there to go after that. Um, let's see. Do I have frames on me? Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Don't, don't hit that spike again. Ooh. It was close. Okay, we'll have the shotgun in our hot bar, in our hands here, our grubby little hands. And a little bit of that there too, so nothing too fantastic. But we survived it just fine. Uh, defenses worked, they did get through. I mean, really quick too. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna wanna be far more prepared for the Horde Knight 14. We're gonna need a couple, a few more rows of these spikes, I think, for sure. I feel like we need to make them climb up over the top of them. That would be great if they just had to climb through them. But I've got the kill chamber we're going to do. We'll do it. Uh, I know what it is. We're going to build it uh, right away. That's going to be our main goal in this next uh, seven days is to have that ready to go and ready to uh, kill, of course, the zombies again. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're okay. We, we, we survived it all right. We did okay. Uh, up we go. I don't think I can get across here anymore. No, I've actually made this bad. <laughs> I've, I've, I've broken this. I think I can go from here, though, right? 
Hopefully, hopefully. There we go. There we go. And stay crouched. Let's get this back over to here. go and we're gonna come over here and then we're gonna take these guys out oh boy I don't like being on there when I'm doing this it seems really bright to me sorry there we go all right so Horde Knight survived hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button for me comment subscribe and share I'm the radio man 03 and I want you to have an awesome a fantastic and a superb day and I look forward to talking to you again next time